Welcome back to Sports Nation, presented by Toyota. Welcome back. Joining us now, NBA veteran Ryan. Don't call me hobo. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I thought you retired and went to the D League and then yeah, came read back. All these Man. tweets. What's up? With yeah, you? we read a lot of tweets that supposedly you're gonna yeah. tell, uh, tell all. Books. How do you leave your Twitter account open in the radio station and these guys follow you? That's you know what really was bad. funny as I was walking out. I see him. I say, hey, guys, all right, see you later. <laughs> Marcellus was excited, like, yeah. all right, bro, I got you, got you, got you. And I'm like, the thing so is, we asked oh. the callers for their best they tweets were... from his account, and they were terrible, but when we saw him in the hallway where the speakers were on, we had to go, shh, and we had to change the subject, so yeah. he'd wave to us like we're doing a regular <laughs> yeah, yeah. radio show. <laughs> I gave them some really guys. good ideas. They didn't oh. use any of mine. It so was you were so safe. good. Yeah, so good. Safe. Thanks, um, thanks, thanks. we got to talk about some finals drama. I mean, obviously. Bron and Draymond getting into it right here. Come on, boys. Mm. Exchange some words in game four. LeBron took exception to the words that Draymond used, and let, that led to Clay and LeBron's little exchange over this weekend. Take a listen. Draymond just, you know, he said something that uh, I don't agree with. You know, I'm, I'm all cool with the competition. I'm all fine with that, but some of the words that came out of his mouth was a little bit overboard. You know, it's a man's league, and <laughs> I've heard a lot of bad things in that court, but the end of the day, it stays on the court. We're all competitive people. I guess his feelings just got hurt. I guess he just got his feelings hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to take the high road. I've been doing it for 13 years. It's so hard to continue to do it, and I'm going to do it again. Um, at the end of the day, we got to go out. we got to show up and, and play better tomorrow night. Um, and if we don't, then they're going to they're gonna be back-to-back uh, -back champions. And, um, you know, and that's it. Oh, it is so hard to take the high road. I've Great. been doing it for 40 years. Um, you, the next time you're on the high road will be the first. You don't even know I? there is a high road. Why am I so high up here? Uh, all right. <clears throat> what we've all heard now is that it was the B word, allegedly, which mm. really makes this story comical as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, you guys are supposed to be a little tougher than this, no? This makes them look a little soft. Listen, this is what LeBron's telling you, the media, the fans at home. But LeBron is a lot tougher than that. Um... To win in the NBA Finals, there's a strategy and a method to every madness. So LeBron knows that his team needs that type of toughness. In Game 3, they out-tough Golden State. So yep. he knows if I can bring this mentality back, I know the game is already out of hand, and I can go at their supposed leader, this gives us a chance to win. We have to turn the tide somehow. I love LeBron's personality, actually. I think he's handled the amount of fame and pressure on him incredibly well, much better than the vast majority of people in that same situation would be able to handle it. So I love his attitude. But when he says that he's taking the high road, he does, but he lowers the road by mentioning it. Right? Mm. He, if he were simply to take the high road, that road would be mm. a little higher. Once he points out what he's doing, the road gets a little lower. How about Clay, who's saying things supposed to stay on the court, I mean, but then your butt up there at a press conference telling everybody what happened on the court. So <laughs> hold on. LeBron, you lowering the road? Clay, you out there snitching. Now, here's the thing. They handled that between Draymond and LeBron. They're... This conversation divides between smart people and dumb people. And Matt Barnes Thank is a you. smart dude, and Charles Barkley is a smart dude. But y'all said some dumb things right now that I'm going to tell y'all to hop over to the smart road. Draymond, in that moment, has a choice. Do I put my revenge in front of my team's success? Oh, he decided, yes, that's what I want to do. Here you go in the LeBrons. That's the problem. You got baited into that moment. You know this like I know this. Yep. When you get caught in that moment... You just got caught, dog. The last thing you could do is show revenge and act out of character and do something against the rules. Draymond got caught slipping, got exposed, got embarrassed, and decided to a retaliate. But the B word? A Twitter, the B word. A Twitter follower the B -word. of ours, a Twitter follower of ours forwarded video showing this happening to LeBron against Joe Kim Noah. Noah steps over him. LeBron's hand goes to the same place yeah. that Draymond's up. The difference is Draymond knows he's playing with no He's on the edge. The next yeah. incident, he's done it before. He, he's, yeah. he's done, and he did it anyway. It's a lack of impulse control. Ex exactly. Well, things are going to get interesting on the Cavs side because Kevin Love was asked about the LeBron step over and had this to say about it. Quote, you don't see it too much, but yeah, I think it is looked at. It's a form of disrespect. <laughs> mm. I love that it's Kevin Love, a guy who we can't seem to figure out where he fits in on this team to begin with. He says this in the middle of the finals mm. about his teammate. What say you? 
stepping over a guy is always disrespect. Thank you. Right now, they're at war right now. So I don't think that Kevin is saying that, you know, making an excuse for LeBron or saying like LeBron didn't mean to do it. But yeah, it's war. It, we're still watching the videos of Tyron Lue getting stepped over by Allen Iverson. Forever. <laughs> the Lakers won the championship, yeah. but all you think about is him being stepped over. So of course it was disrespect. And Tyron Lue in that moment didn't go to the AIs and do this. You know what? You yeah. just got to accept it. You got to expose. In my game, this happens almost every other play. Mm. It seems like someone gets pancakes. And yeah. in our game, when you pancake somebody, it's time to Jake the Snake them. What does Jake the Snake mean? It's time to crawl over you, manhood first, everything, and expose you for being in that position. Yeah. Now, if you retaliate in that position, you're in the wrong because mm. I embarrassed you and it's disrespectful. But it's not against but the rules. Are we not shocked that Love is basically calling out the leader of his team? Yeah, I, would, I don't think it's very media savvy of Kevin Love I mean, here. And I'm, I'm sympathetic yeah. because people are asking you constant direct questions yeah. and some of the answers are inescapable. Is it disrespectful? Well, duh. I mean, what is he supposed to I say? I kind of love the honesty. It's not yeah. media savvy because if you're going to take that route, then I think you should go bad boy pistons all the way. In other words, like, uh. was it disrespectful? You're damn right it was that disrespectful. We're not up here awesome. to show these dudes any respect. Yeah, he but, but he got caught in the middle here. But it was a principle-based response. I like that style. He, but he, his principles, look, just like my father, who's very principle-based, he says Wait. this. Shut oh, up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my father, not you, don't I? Oh, my real father, taller than you. <laughs> that look like yeah. you. Um, he says, <laughs> right or wrong doesn't matter who the subject is and I mm. think that that's a good place to be right or wrong I'm not gonna take care of you LeBron in this moment because I'm telling the truth in that mm. same conversation LeBron good job you got him and you, and, and, and you got exposed I mean we're talking about a guy who like what was it the picture he said fit in don't fit out right. whatever all uh, that business was and now this is the same guy who's like you gotta yeah. listen the, the Warriors been together for what six or seven years yeah Kevin Love's been thrown together for two years uh, Kevin Love missed a lot of the playoffs yeah. so there's a culture that's still being built right now in Cleveland and hats off to LeBron think about what he's built within one year yeah but, but you know what it's two years now LeBron goes. but Ryan it's two yeah, years now like you've been in the, the same way. squad for two They've years there. you <laughs> handpicked them they're all-star caliber the whole thing you have the coach he two years is enough he took time. the best available two, don't say oh, two, get him oh, oh, he chose Ryan Hollins, get up he here chose more often. and then pulled the and then pulled the trigger Whoa. on the trade for Kevin Love that's the best pick. available and then, time. 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 I have some good the news for you guys ding, 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 ding. Chris best available ding, and he went there too constantly evolving team this Kevin Love Sola up in New York had a very interesting piece yesterday when he wrote uh if and when the Cavs lose. They will be crying for another roster shakeup. The path to a title uh, for Carmelo is joining LeBron in Cleveland, where Anthony's scoring complements James' playmaking ability and mindset. What? Uh oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Max? Yep. Should GM what? LeBron hmm. trade for one Carmelo Anthony this offseason? Right now, it would be a silly uh, topic for him even to discuss or mm -hmm. think because they have to worry about winning the finals right now. And we are, it's our job to uh, guess and think about what next year, what yep. the next game will look like. Now, do right now, he's got to worry about his team and what he has in front of him. Would you want to play with Melo? Yeah. Melo's, what? I mean, Melo's at what cost? He's a star. At, at what, what cost? cost? I don't know what, what cost. Year? Love. Everybody Kevin says Kevin Love, but I it know. might be. You look, never know. Look, I think I think else. if you watch him play in the Olympics and stuff, Carmelo's a lot of times the leading scorer, and LeBron does set him up, and he mm -hmm. likes playing with him, and LeBron wants to play with Carmelo and Chris Paul before he's done. So if you're the Cavs and you could actually have make that happen, you could pull the trigger Kyrie for Chris Paul, even though Chris Paul's better now, but Kyrie's that much younger, mm -hmm. and Chris Paul's more ready now. And the same thing with Carmelo. Great. Give LeBron what he wants. He gets what he wants anyway in terms of who he plays with. <laughs> he deserves the chance to play with another big three of his choosing before he's done. And once again, the responsibility will be on him. There will be greater pressure on him. Okay, you're playing with exactly who you want. Now go out and get it done. And I'm all for it. I like the fact that LeBron wants to take those kind of challenges and wants to play with who he wants to play with. Let it happen. Why would I want to play with a dude who's two and five in the finals? No, you better stop. Oh, you better oh, stop. Just well, Carmelo's really? never we been laugh? to a final. No, That's no. why Chris Paul's never been to a final. I, I got a no. quick response That's to that. Carmelo's funny. better than Kevin Love, but Kevin Love is getting a raw deal yeah. deal here. This dude was leading them in rebound and leading the Eastern Conference in postseason rebounds, shooting threes at a high percentage. And then all of a sudden, he has a bad matchup against the Warriors. Oh, oh, here we go. Everyone has a bad matchup against the Warriors. So now we're going to put it all on the scapegoat of Kevin Love. Defensively, he's bad. Kyrie is worse than him defensively. <laughs> we're not going to blame Kyrie, are we? Because he scores. You're right. Uh, by the way, I know we make fun of you a whole bunch. What are I'm you up to for time. real?
You know what? I've been uh, coaching kids basketball and really just enjoying my time on the weekends. Uh, you know, pressure basketball club. And uh, you know what? Just just trying to expand my horizons, man. I've been looking across a few videos and a few things. And oh, dog! Uh, oh, I smell yeah, something. Come up with Look, dog. Dog. You know what? Get him! Kids basketball. Some of the most dribbling <laughs> We're everywhere. Yes, my whole body. Oh, my my <laughs> Our 12 under team can. Oh man, he's you know, so listen, unathletic. We're looking for a backup what? center right now, yes. Max, and I think you can get Why it done. Why don't you worry less you about my dribbling out. and more about your three-point shooting? Is, wait, you'll, you'll, you'll get a whole is year. Is this contract. an offer, or does he have to try out still? He has to try yeah. out. Hell yeah, you better <laughs> try out. I, I would say sense. left hand. Normally, it's left hand. It's left and right yeah. hand. We got to work on that. Yeah. Uh, Hobo Hollins, wow, welcome anytime. I smell the anytime, Ryan Hollins. Yeah, you knew it. You knew it. Someone yeah. coming, right? Y'all, there really are eight-year-olds that are better than that, of right? Of course, there. there are. Right. Like, I eight. had slipped discs. <laughs> what about your wrists? <laughs> and your hand, and your arms? I said wrists. And your oh, coordination. <laughs> what about everything? This sports nation, man, that is horrible. <laughs> oh. yeah, you are.